the Galileo spacecraft, scheduled for launch from the space shuttle in 1985, will leave Earth orbit bound for the first intensive exploration of Jupiter and its four principal satellites, Io, Ganymede, Europa, and Callisto. The spacecraft carries a parachute-equipped probe targeted for deployment into Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere. The probe will allow our first direct sampling of the Jovian atmosphere and is a forerunner of future probes designed to explore the Sun, Saturn, and satellites like Titan with considerable atmospheres. The probe will descend into Jupiter to analyze and directly sample its atmosphere believed to be original material from which the solar system formed 4.6 billion years ago. The Galileo mission, named for the Italian astronomer who discovered Jupiter's four large satellites, has been designed to use the gravity of those moons to bend the spacecraft flight path during its 24-month tour of the Jovian system. As the probe samples the Jovian atmosphere, scientific results will be relayed to the orbiter for one hour before the probe signal is lost at pressures of 10 to 20 Earth atmospheres. Galileo makes a close flyby of Io to study the moon's volcanic surface. Io's gravity in turn bends the trajectory of the spacecraft, helping to send it into orbit around Jupiter. Flying just 1,000 kilometers above the surface, images of the moon show features as small as 50 meters. After relaying probe science data to Earth, the spacecraft will orbit Jupiter at least 11 times, making a close flyby of one of the Galilean satellites on each orbit, yielding high-resolution images and detailed measurements of their surfaces, gravity, and magnetic fields. As the orbit rotates about Jupiter, the spacecraft will sample all regions of the planet's vast magnetic field. The first full orbit of Jupiter brings Galileo to its first encounter with Ganymede. The gravitational effect of the close equatorial flyby reduces the length of the spacecraft's orbit from 200 to 90 days. Using photographic data from Voyager, this computer simulated flyby of Ganymede shows Galileo's view of the icy moon. Galileo will fly even closer to Ganymede in its second encounter with the moon. Each satellite flyby modifies Galileo's orbit sending the spacecraft on to its next encounter. Each flyby is 20 to 100 times closer than the Voyager encounters. The Voyager saw only the equatorial regions of these icy moons, but Galileo will photograph the North Pole of Ganymede, providing a new perspective in the study of these large satellites. A flyby of Callisto occurs on the sixth orbit of Jupiter. The ancient cratered terrain of Callisto is closely studied as Galileo passes over the southern hemisphere of the outermost Galilean satellite. The spacecraft will sweep within 200 kilometers of the surface of Europa at the end of its eighth revolution about Jupiter. Galileo's Europa encounters will give us our first detailed look at this moon's mysteriously fractured surface, seen by other spacecraft no better than we see Earth's moon through a small telescope. During its 20-month mission, Galileo will expand our knowledge of Jupiter and its satellites revealing in detail the bodies and workings of this miniature solar system.